Oh, I'm also delighted to be joined here at St. Colman's Park in Cove by a man who scored two goals tonight, Adam Evans. And Adam, great performance of the town, winning 3-1 at a venue that they often struggle to get a result. And you put in a stellar display with two goals, and the first one in particular was a stunning finish by yourself. Yeah, it was a good, good performance from all the lads, especially with the conditions. Cove was a hard place to come to in anyway, and the night made it even harder. So. Uh, now it was great to get a result and for myself I'm delighted to get two goals. Yeah, and you mentioned the, the tricky uh, weather conditions. I remember coming down to St. Colman's Park last year in similar mm. uh, rainy conditions and the game called off just before kickoff. Yeah. Unfortunately that didn't uh, <laughs> transpire tonight. Uh, no, yeah, it was, it was actually a very light the game at Wexford at the start of the season but I say we had the same kind of performance that night. We got through it and it was the same tonight with the conditions but you seen with the lads that we all just stuck together and got on with it. Yeah. And uh, all the lads have stepped into the breach tonight. They put themselves in the shop window for the playoffs, including yourself. Yeah, yeah, myself, Paul, a lot of lads came in tonight and even a few of the 19s were on the bench that got running. After last week with a few suspensions, as Darrow was saying after the game, like that's the strength of the squad that we have and people can come in and do a job. So it was probably the perfect thing to happen today, but with the lads getting suspended and but lads showing what they can do before these playoffs start, so you have all, everyone going in for it. And there's a couple of weeks break now to the first playoff game on Friday, October the 4th, away to Cabin TV. So it's important to get a two week gap between the playoffs. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit weird. Hopefully, we can get a friendly in next week or something, and uh, obviously, train as normal, but get everyone back to full fitness in the next two weeks. That's the good thing about having a bit of a break. So there's a few injuries in the squad, so if we can get everyone back fully flick gotten into the uh, to the, to the playoffs, it should be grand. Yeah, we'll, we'll be missing Carl Chambers and Anto Breslin and from the playoff against Kevin Teeley. And Chanel, where are we missing from the first leg? Yeah, huge, huge misses. Like the, the three of them you mentioned have been huge players all season. It's Anto, especially Shane, as well on the wing, on the wing backs. It's mm -hmm. normally where we start our, our ball from, like with them two. But we have the whole, we have all the players in the squad that can go in, like so. It shouldn't be a problem. <laughs>